Hey guys, what's going on? This is Mike, and today we're taking a look at a really cool app that comes built in with iOS 10 beta on all iPads, and it is called Swift Playgrounds. So this is a really neat app that teaches you the basics of coding. So if I open it up here, you can see the home screen is just a whole bunch of different classes you can take, as well as challenges here at the bottom. If you're currently enrolled in a, uh, a playground, you can just go here down to My Playgrounds and tap whichever one you're currently doing. So I'm just in the, the first uh, the first lesson here. So I have written out the correct code here and once you think the code is right that you've entered you can just hit run my code and then the character will move through the world in uh, using the code that you provided and then if you get it right uh, it'll tell you. I'll also show you what happens if you get the code wrong so if I remove one of these uh, commands here and then hit run my code you'll see what happens if you get it wrong. And then when you enter the wrong code, uh, down here the little hint will just enlarge and flash and tell you that if you need a hint, uh, you can get it, swipe through, and if you just want to be given the answer, you can hit show solution, and then it will show you the correct code in the correct order. So you can see in this next lesson they have introduced a new command, which is turn left, uh, and I've done this already, so you can see the code I've entered is already in here. So if I hit run my code, we can see if I did it correctly. So move forward twice, turn left, move forward twice, and collect the gem. And I did it, it says uh, what I did to complete it, and uh, we can hit next page if we want to move on to the next task. So this one is, uh, this one also introduces a new command, the toggle switch. So every time the app introduces a new command, uh, it'll tell you up here what it does and uh, how to use it. So if we hit run my code here, we can see if I did it right. And again, if you do it right, it'll tell you down here, like, fantastic, you use the right commands in the right order to make Byte complete the tasks, you've got this. So it's really encouraging and it's really fun and it really encourages you along the way as you're coding uh, to keep going and to keep uh, advancing your skills. So it's a really fun way to learn how to code. Uh, each uh, challenge gets a bit harder as you go on. Uh, I'm stuck on one actually right now, but uh, yeah, so it's a really fun app to learn how to code. Uh, obviously there's going to be more challenges and more lessons uh, as iOS 10 beta advances and obviously uh, when iOS 10 is released officially. Uh, anyways guys, that's a quick look at Swift Playgrounds in iOS 10 beta on iPad. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like down below. My name is Mike and I'll see you in the next one.